There are four features of online marketing that distinguish it from traditional marketing channels. Compared to traditional print and television marketing, online marketing can be more personalized, participatory, peer-to-peer, -peer, and communal. Not all types of online marketing have these four features. Firms within an industry compete with one another on four dimensions, differentiation, cost, focus, and scope. There are three levels of products. Core product, marketers must first define what the core benefits of the product will provide the customer. Actual product, marketer must then build the actual product around the core product. It may have as many as five characteristics such as quality level, features, brand name, and packaging. Augmented product, offer additional consumer benefits and services such as warranty and customer training. This model illustrates the contents of each feature set, namely core product, actual product, and augmented product. Brand has a set of expectations that consumers have when consuming or thinking about consuming. A product or service from a specific company, such as from Tesla, Asus, and etc. Branding is the process of brand creation. Its process combines such elements as logo, design, mission statement, and a consistent theme throughout all marketing communications. Closed loop marketing is when marketers are able to directly influence the design of the core product based on market research and feedback. Brand strategy is a set of plans for differentiating a product from its competitor and communicating these differences to the marketplace. Brand equity is an estimated value of the premium customers are willing to pay for a branded product versus an unbranded competitor. This illustrates the process and necessary requirements to form a product to a branded product. Brands are reasonable to buy for consumers and businesses perspective because brands introduce market efficiency by reducing search and decision making costs and increasing customer retention lower customer acquisition cost and constitutes for a long-lasting unfair competitive advantage. A vision of law of one price is the end of brands. Instead, consumers still pay premium prices for differentiated products. E-commerce firms rely heavily on brands to attract customers and charge premium prices, price dispersion, large differences in price sensitivity for the same product, and it creates a library effect. The objective of internet marketing, as in all marketing, is to build customer relationships so that the firm can achieve above average returns. This can be done by using web transaction logs, cookies and web bugs, databases, advertising networks, and CRM. A primary source of consumer information on the web is a transaction log maintained by all web servers. A transaction log records user activity at a website, while transaction logs create the foundation of online data collection at a single website. Marketers use tracking files to follow users across the web as they visit other sites. There are three primary kinds of tracking files, cookies, flash cookies, and web beacons. Databases, data warehouses, data mining, and a variety of marketing decision-making technologies and techniques, loosely called profiling, are at the heart of the revolution in internet marketing. Customer relationship management systems are another important internet marketing technology. CRM system is a repository of customer information that records all of the contacts that a customer has with a firm and generates a customer profile available to everyone in the firm with a need to know the customer. Broadened scope of marketing communications, increased richness of marketing communications, and expanded information intensity of marketplace are three broad impacts of the revolution in internet marketing technologies. The transaction log is built into web server software. Transaction log data becomes even more useful when combined with two other visitor-generated data trails. Registration forms and the shopping cart database. Registration forms gather personal data on name, address, phone, zip code, email address, and other optional self-confessed information on interests and tastes. The shopping cart database captures all the item selection, purchase, and payment data. To supplement the logs, marketers use tracking files to follow users across the web as they visit other sites. 
A cookie is a small text file that websites place on the hard disk of visitors' client computers every time they visit, and during the visit, as specific pages are visited. Cookies allow a website to store data on a user's computer and then later retrieve it. The cookie typically includes a name, a unique ID number for each visitor that is stored on the user's computer, the domain, a path, a security setting that provides whether the cookie can only be transmitted by a secure server, and an expiration date. The cookie manager stores and sends cookies just like a web browser. If you have an HTTP request and the response contains a cookie, the cookie manager automatically restores that cookie and will use it for all future requests to that particular website. Although cookies are site-specific, when combined with web beacons, they can be used to create cross-site profiles. Web beacons are tiny graphic files embedded in email messages and on websites. Web beacons are used to automatically transmit information about the user and the page being viewed to a monitoring server in order to collect personal browsing behavior and other personal information. The first step in interpreting huge transaction streams is to store the information systematically. A database is a software application that stores records and attributes. A database management system is a software application used by organizations to create, maintain, and access databases. The most common DBMS are DB2 from IBM and a variety of SQL databases from Oracle, Sybase, and other providers. Structured Query Language is an industry standard database query and manipulation language used in relational databases. Relational databases such as DB2 and SQL represent data as two-dimensional tables with records, with records and organized in rows, and attributes in columns, much like a spreadsheet. A data warehouse is a database that collects a firm's transactional and customer data in a single location for offline analysis by marketers and site managers. This shows a relational database view of e-commerce customers. The tables and all the data in them can be flexibly related to one another as long as the tables show a common data element. Relational databases are extraordinarily flexible and allow marketers and other managers to view and analyze data Data mining is a set of analytical techniques that look for patterns in the data of a database or data warehouse, or seek to model the behavior of customers. Website data can be mined to develop profiles of visitors and customers. There are many different types of data mining. The simplest type is query-driven data mining, which is based on specific queries. Another form of data mining is model-driven. Model-driven data mining involves the use of a model that analyzes the key variables of interest to decision makers. This shows a process of data mining and personalization. A customer profile is simply a set of rules that describe the typical behavior of a customer or a group of customers at a website. Customer profiles help to identify the patterns in group and in individual behavior that occur online as millions of visitors use a firm's website. Specialized marketing firms called advertising networks appear to help firms take advantage of the powerful marketing potential of the internet and to make the entire process of buying and selling online ads more efficient and transparent. These ad networks have proliferated and have greatly increased the scale and liquidity of online marketing. Advertising networks begin with the consumer requesting a page from a member of the advertising network. A connection is established with a third party ad server. The ad server identifies the user by reading the cookie file on the user's hard drive and checks its user profile database for the user's profile. The ad server selects an appropriate banner ad based on the user's previous purchases, interests, demographics, or other data in the profile. Whenever the user later goes online and visits any of the network member sites, the ad server recognizes the user and serves up the same or different ads regardless of the site content. The advertising network follows users from site to site through the use of web tracking files.